Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have two Diamond Art Club unboxings and these two diamond paintings have already released. These are not sneak peeks but I thought I would share with you in the same style as I do sneak peeks for Diamond Art Club. I thought I'd share with you these two canvases. One of these was sent to me a while ago for a sneak peek but it did not arrive on time so thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. The other I actually paid for myself and I am really excited to get into this because this is a discontinued painting. So, but first I will show you the one that they sent me. So let me get all the packaging off and I will be right back. So this is the first diamond painting. It is called Pisces. It is a Josephine wall and it is a square shaped diamond with 70 by 87 centimeters so this is a very large diamond painting and I will put a picture of the rendering on the screen for you so you can see what it looks like what the computer thinks it'll look like when it's finished I'm sure that some of you have already purchased this uh, but fun fact this is my star sign uh, if you are so inclined to <laughs> Pisces so beautiful she looks so serene love it with all the wisteria and everything happy october 1st by the way this uh what's happening here is very autumnal this is the toolkit for this diamond painting so with square toolkits it comes with everything that the rounds do plus tweezers so you get a pen and a pen grip you get the tray two plates of wax you get the tweezers a multi-placer and you get these um baggies as well Let's go ahead and look inside. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This, this color is giving me life right now. <laughs> so inside of the canvas, we've got the inventory sheet, 66 colors. Oh my gosh, I don't think that I've seen that many colors yet. That's incredible, I'm super excited. Can you see Poseidon? That might actually be Triton, like based on the based on the little mermaid. That is really cool. I never noticed him before. So we'll see if we can see him. And then her signature butter um dragonflies, not butterflies. The star sign in the zodiac as as a constellation and then also in the fish. Lovely. All right. Here are the instructions as well. You get an instruction sheet and all of the diamonds. There's a lot of diamonds in here. This painting is very heavy, but we will look at these diamonds in just a few minutes. First, let's look at the canvas, shall we? So I'm gonna roll this backwards so that I can show you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just had breakfast <laughs> and it's not, not liking my my voice I apologize here we go rolled it back are you ready three two one <gasps> wow she's huge <laughs> okay so I have a I have a, a door here that's my desk so if that gives you an idea of how big this is look at her you can see the dragonflies up here Oh, you can't see Triton. Very cool. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love all the greens and the purples. They go so well together. So let me bring it up close so that you can see what's going on here. We have the name of the kit. We have a picture here on the side. You can see that it's licensed artwork. Here we can have a look at the, oh, sorry, excuse me. Look at the drill field there. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying to get the clear out of the way. Clear symbols. Lots of arrows on this one. So if you struggle with arrows, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, they are different colors, so that's a good thing. Let's look at maybe her face. I think that's pretty easy to read myself. 
but I haven't struggled like some people say they have with the symbols. So I think of it like a puzzle, personally. And sometimes, I mean, I, I am the first person to admit, sometimes I have to go back and, you know, with a color and fill in because I've missed several of them. It happens. Sometimes you might put down the wrong color for a symbol. It happens. It happens to all of us, even those of us who have been diamond painting for years. But cool thing is that we've got the legend on both sides. So if you want to use the, the legend on the canvas, you can. But personally, I like to kit up my containers with these labels. And then I just look at the symbol and then find the symbol um, on my containers. I don't even look at DMC numbers anymore if I don't have to. So again, we have the soft velvet back and then we have the poured glue instead of double-sided adhesive, which means that it is very springy. You can see how reflective that is. It's super thick glue. And I actually really like it. I know that it it means that your your drills can actually move around a little bit. You've got a little bit of give. Whereas with, say, some double-sided adhesive companies and mounting film adhesive companies, those drills are down. You, you have to pick them out with tweezers if you need to make um, a change. So I like, I like that you can kind of scoot them around a little bit. Anyhow, that's, that's what she looks like. So pretty. Now we're going to have a look at the drills and we are going to afterwards look and see where all the specialty diamonds go. On this canvas, there are four Aurora Borealis colors, which are those specially coated diamonds. So I'm going to show you where those go just after we look at all the colors. So if you'd like to skip ahead to that point, you can go ahead and skip to this, this spot. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. All right, so please forgive my nails today. They are just, I know, <laughs> I know. We've got 3727, 3718, 322 by two, 135. There's our first Aurora Borealis color. This is going to be in a lot of places on this canvas. And it is represented by the number three. Isn't that pretty? See the shimmer and the sparkle? Very pretty. 937, we've got three bags of this. 3755, 165, 336, we've got three bags of this as well. 3836. 470. I've got two of them. 820. One, two, three of those. Look how beautiful that blue is. Oh, so pretty. Oh, we've got two on their own. We've got 154 and 414 there. Nine oh four. I've got three big bags of that. 471 with a hitchhiker. <laughs> 334, we've got two bags, 775, 745, 939, 155, all twisted, 435, 38, 23, two pretty bags left, 340, two bags as well, 37, 46, 33, 25, we've got two, 8, 18, and then 128. So here's another AB, a light pink, and this one is number two on the canvas. Very pretty. That little extra shine is going to make those elements really pop on the canvas. Next up, we've got 3326, 948, 437, 762. 772, 3024, 975, 125. Ooh, that's cute. I don't know what color that is. It's like a cream color. 
it's not quite white. 125 is represented by number one on the canvas. 718, 782, 3685, 355, 783, 915, 141. This one is pure white, and that is symbol number four on the canvas. 644, 38, 37, 209, 603, 3052. Got more. Gosh, so many drills. 797. We've got three big bags. 333, not 434, 945, 433. Got a few free tens. 819, 744. 436, 3811, 951, 210, 3346, 301, 318, 415, 211, 938. All right, wow. I feel like that took a lot longer than normal. So let's go ahead and figure out where these go on the canvas. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can, but please bear with me. So the number one is that off white color. I see some in the dragonfly's wings here. There's not going to be a lot that I do know. So in the dragonfly's wings, oop, there's some in the tail of the fish. Hmm. And just from a glance, that's all the ones that I see. Just in the tail there. Oh, excuse me. In the tail of the fish and in the wings. Oh, there's some right here as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that, that's like the aura that's around her. Very pretty. Number two is the pink. And that is like everywhere. Um, that's in the lotus which I love lotus flowers, by the way. So this is like a must. Um, it's all in this kind of halo of the sunshine behind her. Also on the top of these flowers and in the petals. Number two, number two, number two. There's some in the bellies of the fish. And that is all. Number three is the green green AB and that one is all over here we've got some in this lotus three 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 three, three. all over in here oh it's everywhere all in the fish all along here I think that's a lily pad that she's on um so all along here highlighting all of the seaweed down here. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere down here. Lots and lots of green AB. This is gonna shine. Uh, number four is the white. And as you saw, there was not a lot of the white AB. So number fours are going to be accentuating her tiara, which it looks like is pearls maybe. And I think, oh, there's, nope, those are ones. That's it. That's all, just up here in the, in the tiara. Wow, that's really pretty. I'm looking at the, at the rendering, and I think that the only thing at the moment that I can see that maybe didn't render as well, but I think it'll look fine from a distance is, um, Triton. <laughs> He looks a little pixelated. Let me see if I can bring him up to you. Look at his cute little eyes. <laughs> and then the seahorse's eyes. It's actually quite adorable, but um, because if they were to, that's fine with me, because if they were trying to get the detail of all of these small elements, it would mean that they would have to make the, the picture even bigger. And um, as, as it stands, a 70 by 87 is already way bigger than most diamond paintings that I have been completing. That is a, a kind of a lie. Um, I do larger diamond paintings, but not quite this big. 
So I'm okay to sacrifice some of the background characters as long as the foreground ones look amazing, and they do. They absolutely do. Your eye is going to be so focused on this beautiful yin yang and her lovely body and face. Look at her hair as well. The background also looks incredible, and I know that this looks really pixelated now, but I'm sure that once you put diamonds on it, it's actually going to look incredible. That's the thing about, you know, taking the picture with the symbols on it and then having the completed thing with, you know, the drills on it looks so much different and so much better. So I really love this picture. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending this to me. I'm sorry that it couldn't arrive in time for the sneak peek. Thanks, Postal Services. But uh, here it is, and I hope that you all enjoy it, and this will help you make an educated purchase. So I'm going to put her away, and I'll bring out the next one. This one is an oldie, but a goodie. And unfortunately, this one is about to be discontinued from the site. So hopefully there's a few more left in case you haven't purchased this one and you want to. This is a classic of Mandy Manzano, and this one is Zulu Love. This is also a square diamond painting with 40, it's 47 by 84 centimeters. I don't know why I keep saying with. <laughs> Maybe I haven't had enough coffee today. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is an older kit, so I'm not expecting the newer uh, inserts to be here, but we shall see. Oh, look, there is a sticker. So there's a sticker for the box or for your journal. It kind of got smushed, but that's okay. Oh, it looks so tiny <laughs> compared to the other one. So this is the same toolkit as before. Um, it's got the tweezers, the pen, everything. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. We've got the dust bag with Do What You Need to Sparkle. And I'm excited for this one because, you know, it, it took me a long time to warm up to it, but I've actually seen this one being completed. Um, my friend, Heike at Stone Cold Coffee Crafts has actually done this diamond painting. So uh, if you'd like to see it completed, just head on over to her channel. I'll link that video up above. Um, instructions. Ooh, it's got the inventory sheet with the stickers that peel off. And it has 42 colors, 1AB. And that is the picture. Isn't it pretty? I will look. I will put how it is rendered right over here. This one is inspired by Mardi Gras, so there's a lot of autumnal colors in this one, and it is so nice. These drills are great, actually. Wow. Okay, so let us... Oh, look, there's a misprint. <laughs> Zuzu love. It's Zulu. Um, let's roll this backwards. Now, this is another long one, and you know my love for Manny Manzano. I love her mosaic style where she outlines everything in black. I think it really makes everything pop and that's what made me fall in love with her and the Diamond Art Club style. Here we go. Oh, this is so small <laughs> compared to the other diamond paintings that I've done. This one actually looks doable. Um, so these lovely people are all dressed up for Mardi Gras and or Dia de los Muertos. I'm not actually 100% sure which it is, but either way, however you want to interpret it, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. There are some hidden elements in this painting as well, um, which you can see in Heike's uh, post review. I think that she pointed them out. Um, so there is, you can see here all the details down below. There is a misprint, but it's okay. It's not going to hurt anybody. And same as before, it's got the velveting, velvet back, nice and soft. It's got the poured glue. You've got the accidental, you know, the, what do they call it? They call it their lifetime warranty. So if you you know, spill some drills, or if you, you know, don't have enough to complete the painting for whatever reason, um, you just send them a picture and let them know what you need. Now, the drill field on this one is in the older style, the slightly older style. I mean, they've only 
They've only changed a few of these symbols since. So there are a few of those pesky corners. <laughs> but it looks like everything else is pretty much easy to read, as always. There are some areas with confetti, like in here, where you have to change colors quite a lot. And then there are areas, like in his arm, where there's a lot of color blocking. So if you like to multi-place, those big, large areas of a single color are very easy to use a multi-placer with. I really like it. I think that is her signature, if I'm correct. Again, not 100%, um, but it is gorgeous, isn't it? And I love the colors. It is a lot of brown, but I like the warm, rich tones with the reds and the purples. Great combination. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the drills just like before and then show you where the highlights of those ABs are. So if you'd like to skip ahead, feel free. But here we go, the diamonds. Because this is a Mandy Manzano, we know that we're gonna have a poop ton of black. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bags of 310. And just so you can see, I'd like you to be able to see the drill quality if my camera will work with me. These are really, really nice. We've got 938, two bags. 154, 3371, 1, 2, 3 bags, and 301. Let's see the other ones here. 743, 741, 300, two bags of that. 400, two bags of that as well. 814, the light really doesn't like me today. 8.98 by 2, 9.47, look at that, it's almost neon, very pretty. 141, there's our AB, this is the only Aurora Borealis diamond in this kit, and it has that shimmer, the white girl with the shimmer. 740, 7.42, 2.09, 37.76, 4.98, 5.50, 3.27, 3837 and 208. And the last string, 744, 3854, 3799, 745, 732, 3819, 210, 321, 666, 3778, 317, 415, 3830, 600, 318, 783, 355, and 356. So the ABs, the white AB is represented by the symbol number one, as you can see at the very top. And those are going to highlight basically everything on this canvas. So first of all, they are all the stars in the background. So wherever you see like little dots of white, those are all ABs. Then we have them on the tips of all of these feathers and his headdress. There's a little bit on the beads there or uh, the gems that are on dotted along the top, just right there in the center. There are some that are highlighting the roses or flowers, I think the roses though, next to her hair. Then all of the makeup that's on their, around their eyes, highlighting their noses and around his mouth, that's all AB. We've got some here on the front of her dress like this, uh, along the highlights, natural highlights where light would hit off of. The bottom of his earring here, I think that's an earring. I could be wrong. Whatever this is with the tassels, which is gorgeous, um, that is shimmering as well. She's got some body jewelry uh, or 
body paint maybe on her arm and that's highlighted with some AB as well as this spot right here which could be anything really I'm not sure it's a little sticky outy bit from the background um, I'm sure that in the original picture that is much clearer as to what that is again in the feathers there's this zebra stripe pattern on his cape so we've got like jaguar zebra um maybe a bit of lion i'm not 100 percent sure but this cape is like everything um and in all of the white stripes there are ab's as well as this little thing that at first glance i thought it was her signature but it might actually just be a bag that's on his hip this is her leg and this is her dress and there are bits of white AB all along these pretty purple areas right here as well. And then again, like I said before, all in the background, where wherever there is a white dot, that is an AB. So again, I love this image. I don't know why it took me so long to get around to purchasing it, but I do actually really like it. And I think it would look really pretty seasonally or all year round. So. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, which one do you like? Do you have either of these in your stash already? I'd love to know. Um, I hope that you all have a wonderful Friday ahead. Happy October, my favorite month of the year. I hope that you have a great day, a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.